Thanks for checking out this presentation. This is a short video showing the installation and operation of the AISB, iMux, and iNavX for the iPad. To start this whole project out, we connected with the iTunes Store, downloaded and familiarized ourselves with iNavX. With the release of the Brookhouse iMux and the lowering of the price of AISB units, it is now possible to put a complete wireless nav system on your vessel for a reasonable price. We've taken the iMux and combined it with the other components and thoroughly tested it on the bench. In this case, we mounted an AIS transceiver and an iMux together and installed it on a 42-foot pleasure vessel. It's advisable to use the GPS antenna that comes with the AISB, and in this case, we mounted it on top of the flybridge. We also added an 8-foot whip, as we do with all our AIS installations. In a previous installation, it was impractical to add a second VHF antenna, so the owner opted for a less expensive VHF coax switch, which worked fine. Okay, so we're going to turn on the iPad. Note it. We have the iPad in its its uh, special modular R case, all right. And so the first thing you have to do is you're going to go under settings, okay. Then you're going to go up here to Wi-Fi, and you'll notice it says not connected. So uh, I'm going to turn Wi-Fi on, and up comes Brookhouse iMux, okay. So when that comes up, I tap on that. Notice there's your fly bridge uh, router right there, but we're tapping on Brookhouse iMux, and that connects us wirelessly to the system. Okay, so now I'm going to just tap once on the bottom button, and I'm going to tap on the iNavX. Um, sorry about that. On the iNavX um, icon, and uh, bring up iNavX. Now I know that we're not connected, even though iNavX leaves you off where it last started. So I'm going to go backwards to preferences. I know this is fast and, and kind of hard to follow, but hopefully you'll get the idea. I hit preferences. I'm going up to TCP IP. I'm going to click on that once. That brings up this panel right here. Okay? On your iPad, you should have host. 169.254.1.1 in host and on port type in 2000. On uh, disconnect alarm have that on, enable waypoints have that off, AIS targets off, and AP repeat that has to be on to make your autopilot work. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the link button. That's going to make us tie up with the system. Okay when you start seeing this uh, green and yellow uh, text come up, those are NEMA sentences. That means that we are connected to the system. If you don't see it, you have to, sometimes I just close out of the window and try it again. That refreshes the system. So once that's working like it is right here, then I go up and I hit save. Okay? Now, once I've done that, that brings me back to this window. And I'm going to hit this little arrow up here that says iNavX. That takes us backwards a page. And I'm going to look for Navionics uh, 2XG Canada and Southeast Alaska. I'm going to hit that one. Now, click on this one right here. What that does is, no matter what charts you're using, those are the charts that are right underneath the keel of your boat. All of these charts, if they're in bold, they're underneath the keel. We're going to pick Puget Sound North, okay? Now it's loading the Navionics charts. Okay, so here we are, and we are up here in, there's good old Cap Sandy Marina, and you notice that we're picking up all these AIS signals. Okay, so that's good. We know everything's working. All right. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go down on routes. Roots is right at the bottom. I'm going to hit that. Now, I've already made a route. Uh, for a refresher, you can go, I'll, I'll give you the uh, URL, and you can go on uh, YouTube and find the primer that I made about how to make up a route. But I made one up that says autopilot test, so I'm going to hit that. All right. 
When I do that, then I have to hit go to because that enacts the root. Notice that the first waypoint became bolded. That meant the root has been enacted. So now I, I hit the backwards button for roots and then I go back down here and hit chart. Okay? When I do that, here's my little root all laid out. You'll notice that um, uh, that uh, the first waypoint here it has been capped in red and if I go right up here and I hit uh, I'll find the name of the route here it's autopilot test I hit that that brings up our window here with our route in it and this allows us to uh, go next or preview on uh, or previous I'm sorry on on all the waypoints along the route that's how we advance the route so we're just idling out here right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll get rid of this I'm going to go ahead and the boats in gear you take a look over here at the autopilot it's already been turned on now I'm going to hit now okay there we go and it says um, uh, nav to the uh, waypoint and uh, from uh, port 2 so there we go we're hitting that okay it's always port 2 this is hooked up to port 2 okay and that's a deviation signal okay now look out the windshield now look at the boat turning on to the waypoint I'm going to give her a little power we're going to turn pretty fast because you know this is kind of behind us here okay so the, the iPad and the autopilot are working in conjunction with one another. They're doing all the steering. Okay, so let's look back on the iPad. All right, so you can see how we're turning. If you just watch us a little bit, you'll see us come right up onto the, uh, to the waypoint. Okay, now we're getting close to our waypoint. You'll notice how much we're crabbing to hit to the waypoint, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the next waypoint. I just tap here, okay. The signal has just gone through to the autopilot, and it's there it goes. Now watch the boat. The boat is now turning on to the new waypoint via the iPad wirelessly. Okay, so there we are. Now watch what happens down here. You can see how we're going to track in. I have not touched the autopilot. It's doing its thing all by itself. Alright. Now look at how we're closing up on the course. As long as that cursor is eating that little blue line, you know we're doing, uh, we're right on the money. And this really tracks good. And uh, I'm not going very fast here. Uh, you can see by the RPM. But of course the faster you go, the faster the turns and uh, I've had a waypoint 180 degrees different and this thing has tracked right onto it okay so we're coming up here let's take a look up here and it says that um, we are 0.24 nautical miles away okay we're coming up to that waypoint it just said that we've arrived at the waypoint all right, there we are. So now I'm just going to go to the next waypoint. Here we go. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now watch the boat. I'm going to look out the window. All I did is touch on the iPad, advance the waypoint. That's all I did on the route. We're in a route. There, are, all these waypoints are laying in a route. Of course, you can go waypoint, two waypoint, individually if you want. Okay. Here's the boat coming around. It's found the waypoint. The autopilot just locked up on it. And we're going to down here. This autopilot really tracks nicely to the waypoints. I, I, am, I am amazed how nicely it tracks. There it is. See, it's eating the blue line. The yellow line is the um, uh, where the boat will be in five minutes. And there you go. Couldn't be much better than that. Okay, let's say that you wanted to go to another waypoint that wasn't in the route. Okay? 
So what we would do in that case, let's say we just want to go over here. I just touch once on the screen like this, and I just hit, a, a window will come up, I just hit go to. Okay, we've just made a point, and as long as we're in the nav mode, you'll look out the window here in just a second. Here we go, I just accepted it, and we're going to turn up to that waypoint. Just like that. Okay, and you'll notice that we're coming on to that waypoint. The boat corrects beautifully and just gets us going right into the waypoint. When we're underway or whatever, we can take the iPad and just slip it into the case like this, into the mount like this, and it just pops in like that. And then when we're done, we just will hit the off button here. Okay, and then we take this nice protective cover. That's it. To have this system installed on your boat, please contact us or visit our website for more information.